Probably cop a script with Roxy. Wait, we got probably cop. Fuck, I'm gonna do all this. Probably, probably, probably cop a probably. Probably, probably cop a script with Roxy. Y'all be kind of sloppy. Got me dodging all these body, body bag them in the lobby. Drop me out of rolling alcohol and then the pop a fucking Nazi. Pumping iron. Day 122. It's a uh, chest day. Still the best day. No rest day. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna lift a lot of weight on the bench press. And then, you know, do a lot of reps on a, you know, back deck and uh, it's cable press. So, same old, same old, you know. Not really much expectations for bench right now, so I'm just gonna see what we can do. Um, but last time I figured out my technique pretty well um, with just the setup. Don't really have to, you know, do that much on the setup. I just have to, you know, arch the back and get in a pretty good position. So, yeah, I'm glad that, you know, I've got that down. Because um, for a while, I, you know, form just felt pretty bad um, but you know, you know now we're uh, coming back up right we got 240 for nine last last week as our second set which means we probably could have done 10 on our first set uh, and 240 for 10 is like around 320 something so that's pretty good we're getting back up there the, you know the heavier weight still feels heavy which is uh Honestly, how it's always been for me, um, except for when I, you know, maxed out at 300, then, you know, the weight just felt light. I don't know, that day, just everything felt kind of light, except 315. That's, that felt heavy, right? Um, but, you know, because I can get reps all day long, whenever, you know, we up the weight, that's when uh, it starts getting a little more chop, you know, so that's when, you know, it just, you know, I don't know what it is. You know, I can, maybe I just have good endurance from swimming or some of those sorts, but, you know, 240 for nine, right? But then I got, you know, 265, which maybe that's about right. I don't know. But then you go up to 270 and I get like two, which is, you know, who knows? Maybe that's about accurate. But 10 pounds and, you know, three less reps. I don't think so. so. Uh, but, you know, we'll just have to work on it. And the only way to get stronger is to do heavier weight. So that's what I'm going to keep doing. And it's fun. I love benching. And uh, it's honestly, it is my favorite lift. It'll probably always be my favorite lift. Just because, you know, that's where I first started out. It was on bench. I remember in, uh, it was seventh. 7th or 8th grade, uh, I think it was 8th eighth, eighth grade, and I was in a, you know, a weightlifting class, right? I remember doing 135 was my max, and I felt, you know, like the strongest guy in the school, you know? And, uh, you know, I thought that was a whole lot of weight, you know, 135. Uh, now, you know, closing in on 315 is kind of crazy. Uh, and I remember as a freshman getting you know, lifting weights with, you know, some of the seniors and they were, you know, doing like 185 and so 225 that, you know, blow my mind. But now it's just like, it's like an overthought. And also it's always cool to look back at you know, how far you've came. And, you know, and that just gives you, you know, hope they still have a lot more to go. So maybe, maybe in four years, five years, they'll be looking back at 315, how it did, you know, at, you know, like 135, right? It's just about progress and sticking sticking to it. And I was talking to some guy yesterday about the reason of these videos and pretty much came down to accountability, right? So, you know, being accountable. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I appreciate the support. Uh, and I'll see y'all inside. Thanks. <laughs>
Bench, oh good, I finally got it back, I think, 374, I think I could have gotten 5 with the bow, and with the spot, and then 250 for 6, and 250 for 7, and 250 for 4, so, let's get it, um, I mean, what else can you get, you know, that's where we need to be, so, let's get it, keep, uh, you know, pushing on here, Get some big load up and uh, yeah, let's get it. Ugh. All right.
drop by one every time. Uh, the chest day it's pretty good uh, and finally uh, back hang on to see the one thing that changed was just uh, wearing uh, wrist straps um, like you're not wearing them it's weird I, I mean I know it's better for my wrists but the way I you know move my wrists when they're not wrapped it just helps me move more weight it's kind of weird um, I don't think it's optimal because I mean, my wrist band back kind of but it just helps me push more weight, so I'm just gonna go stick with it. And if they start hurting, I'll, I'll put them on. But uh, I mean, essentially, it's just um, like I know the bar is supposed to be on like the foot of your hand, or like you know, so it's right above your you know, arm, so it's like a lever. Um, which I think I'm doing more when I have wrist drops off. Um, the only thing is my wrist definitely bend backwards, which is not you know healthy. But I'm just kind of doing what can lift the most weight. Um, and 274 is PR. Like I said, I probably could have gone five with belt and spot. Um, and then 250 or seven is definitely PR. And that was also on my second set. So, yeah, we got endurance and strength, which is good. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is finally, finally trending in the right direction, which is good. You know, I was a little frustrated for a little bit there. Um, but, you know, I think the biggest thing I changed was just lower your expectations. That's a pretty good life lesson, I guess. Um, you know, if you want something really bad, you place really high expectations on yourself every day, which is good. You know, set high goals. But sometimes you're setting, you know, expectations that are too high and then that just completely ruins your confidence and demoralizes you and and once you do that you like keep digging yourself in a hole it's like you kind of spiral down here right because you have a bad lift you get it in your head and then the next time you're so amped up because you're like oh, i can't have a bad lift again but you get too much in your head and you just have another bad lift and then it spirals and then it's been a month since you've you know hit a new pr and and then it's just hard to get out right and you will eventually right because you know you're still getting stronger if you lift every day and you know if you really take it seriously it's just sometimes especially 
I don't know why it's always on bench. The ice get in my head. Um, you just kind of got to get out of that. But, uh, you know, um, yeah, I mean, the biggest thing I did was just lower your expectations. You know, it's good to get excited for, uh, for you know, for, for a chest day. But, I mean, I would usually, I, I would come in and expect a PR. You know, that's really high expectations. Because, you know, you're not going to hit a PR every time, but I did. And when that happens and you don't hit the PR, like I said, you just lose confidence. So, I mean, starting like a week and a half ago, like like three uh, chest sessions ago, I just said, you know what, I'm just going to go in here and just lift weight. It doesn't matter if it's heavy, you know, maybe it'll be 225, right? Maybe it'll be really heavy for me, but you know, I'm just going to go in there and lift and go to every set of failure, right? I don't need to, you know, achieve the 265 by five, you know, you know, it's not, you know, all I need now, right? It's it's just, that'd be cool if I hit it, right? You know, lower your expectations, see what happens. Uh, it's the best tips I can give for if you hit a plateau. Um, I mean, obviously it's going to happen. And it doesn't feel good when it happens. And you really want to get out of it. But if, you know, if you're too eager, you're just going to keep digging yourself. And this is a plateau and you'll go back down, you know. So you kind of just got to, uh, you know, lower lower your expectations and your eagerness and uh really just lift right don't even think about it when you, when you start thinking about it you know is my form good is this good is that good uh yeah it's, uh, it's uh stuff starts getting in your head and that's a thing i learned for swimming too i could just never get really over it is just staying in your head um the only times i really got over it was when i was having fun uh because I would get really in my head before races. You know, I love practice, and I did great at practice, and, you know, I just, I loved it. And I could never bring that same, like, feeling to a meet, especially towards the end of, like, like in high school, in the last few years. Uh, you know, I, I would be training, you know, to hit a certain time and pace, and, you know, and then I'd go to the meet, and I was like, oh, I got to get this time, right? I have to do it, you know? And, uh, you know, you know, I got to, right? I have to. And then you just can't do it that way. You know, when you put all this pressure and expectations, you get in your head, you start thinking about your, your, everything, you know, my stroke and my start and all this stuff. And then but you, you have to realize that you shouldn't really think during your swim. You know, it just happens. You know, you're racing and you're having fun. And the only times that I, you know, really felt accomplished from a swim was when I had fun and I was racing my uh, best friend. And, uh, you know, and I didn't have any expectations. It was like the most fun. It was like our county meet, which has no pressure. Like it's not state or anything. There's no pressure meet. And you know, I you know, was just joking around the whole meet, and then you know, what a best time. And yeah, so that's uh, some tips and tricks. Just uh, lower the expectations. Um, my friend Ben, he gave me a quote. It was. Uh, I think it's, it was happiness equals reality minus expectations. And it's a pretty good quote. Um, ben Green, uh, he's in my hall. Uh, and it's true, you know. How do you increase happiness? Well, you can either increase, you know, like reality or decrease your expectations, right? So, I mean, if you increase reality, which, I mean, wait, I think that's the quote. Uh, but anyway, essentially, if you decrease expectations, you'll be more happy because, um, you know, reality is whatever happens, happens. That's just how it's going to go, you know. It's kind of hard to change that. It just happens. But the one thing you can change to make yourself happier is to lower your expectations and be grateful for what you have. And, uh, you know, it's hard to do that because, uh, you know, you want to, it's good, to have, it's fun to have high expectations for stuff. You know, it's good to set high goals and fun to do that. But, you know, you, you really need to just let it go and, and do you know, don't think about it too much. And and maybe you're being too lackadaisical, you know, but you should have expectations for sure. But get it to a, there's, there's a fine line between having too high expectations and too low. And you've got to find the middle ground. And also I've been rambling and I'm going to go eat food. But anyway, low expectations, you'll be happier. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.